Hey, what's going on, Shia Legends family? It is your boy, Admin Duyo. Hello, good morning, good evening, wherever you are, wherever you are. <clears throat> Today, we are doing the uh, Shia Diverge AMA, which stands for Ask Me Anything. Uh, about 24 hours ago, I posted in both discords, the Shia Diverge and the Shia Legends. I was like, hey, I'm going to do an AMA, ask me anything. Sorry for the sirens. And uh, I got a whole list of uh, questions. And so I'm gonna be answering those questions in uh, this video today. So, let's see, I'm working with my other phone. So, uh, first question, is there going to be any class balance adjustments or are you going to keep it as original? Um, so it's going to be pretty basic what you see on a lot of servers nothing crazy like you're not going to see all those custom skills like you see on some servers uh i i do like to i do like to do a couple things uh different uh that some servers do for example i like every class to have at least one non-potable stun so, for example, like stingers or uh, fighters have stinger, uh, defenders, guardians have charge, uh, archers, ranger or archers, hunters have piercing shot. Well, I like mages and pagans to make magic arrow non potable for like two seconds. Nothing, nothing wild, nothing extreme. Just, just a little, a uh, something, you know. And uh, I've also made it, to, and I haven't implemented this yet. I'm going to see how things go, but also uh, Bullseye on Archers and Hunters, uh, I've made that in AoE in the past just because, you know, Archers are, like in terms of DPS, they're, they're one of the least DPS classes in like big PvP because they don't really have those AoEs, and this would just kind of be a way that they can do that. Um, Someone at said, is there going to be VIP to USD? And uh, if you've never played one of my servers before, a lot of times I've done VIP to USD, which is basically where people can play the game and earn real money. Um, no, not on Diverge, not this time. Uh, I'm not doing, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not saying we can't implement it later on, but at least from the start, that's not something that I want to do. Um, we'll, we'll see how things go. It's something that I like to do and would like to do, but for right now, the answer is just no. I wanna see how the mechanics work on this server and how everything goes. Someone said, would you bring the hardcore leveling from Legends in some time here for more, for more base stats? So to give some ta uh, context to that question, you can see my nose is red, it's, it's uh, kind of cold out here. But to give some context, on my last server, which was open for two years by the way, it was a banger. We had like five people with a million kills. Um, at near the end, we had added this feature called Extreme Mode. And when we released it, uh, we released it with 0.7 uh, times exp so less than uh less than times one original rate and it started off with a bang we had more players online the day we it was the second day we implemented we had had more players online than we had in like eight months and then we had suffered extreme ddos attacks and uh by the time we switched over and migrated to a different company which is one of the best of the best and it's also where it Diverge is now, so you guys can know for sure that you guys are protected. Um, but by the time we got uh, transferred and migrated over, it was one month, and a lot of our player base left. Understandably, uh, they move on to other servers, and you know they they get close there and form guilds. And by that time, it was just kind of too late, and so you know. A lot of people say that was the downfall of the server, but I say we had more players come than we had in a long time because of that. 
and so but just to play it safe uh, it left a bad taste in people's mouths so for right now the answer is probably not going to do that probably ever again on any server and if I did it would be out of the get-go and this server's exp rate is going to be like times 500 I mean it's going to be one of those things you get in a party <clears throat> and everyone's max level within an hour um, someone said can you keep PR and VR invasion closed for the first few weeks? Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I completely understand the question. I completely understand the why. But, but man, there's something about going in there, getting up to level 70 first, gearing up first, and then invading. Uh, because it's going to be so quickly to get to level 70, like I said, an hour times 500 EXP rates, you got, you got level 31 gear that has really nice base stats. It's, it's dreamy gear, but they also has like eight of each stat and like, I don't remember exactly, has like enchanted to eight and 800 HP on every gear. So you can level up by yourself, no problem. And because of that, uh, no, I, I probably I probably won't close it. I don't see a need to. Um, but you know, we'll we'll see if we need to revisit that. That's something we might revisit in the future. Um, someone said, "Will it be the same system in terms of skills, like cooldown and such?" Yes. Uh, like I had said previously, uh, everything is going to be pretty basic. Nothing. Nothing like. Nothing super extreme. I hear a car coming. Nothing super extreme is going to uh, be added in terms of skills. Everything's going to be pretty original. Someone said, any defense cap? And uh, right now, the answer is no. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we're not using the Shy Legends files that, that we had originally. Um, we are uh, using a whole new developer and so like the mechanics of strength and dex and whiz and luck you know it's different on it's a little different on every server and so i want to see how things go first in in uh in like massive pvp we'll we'll see how it goes like you know i want defenders and guardians to be killable or be non-killable but do garbage damage I don't want I don't want you know them to be able to do both. Like they need to pick. You can be a bot in PvP, or you can be useful and help out. Um, crossing a busy highway real quick. Someone said, "When release?" That's probably the biggest question right now. Am I right? Um. So right now. Freak and I, we've been, we've been talking, and he has decided that it is best that we wait uh, until we have everything ready to even uh, release the, the launch date. And that's just to avoid any unforeseen setbacks and features that we're still adding, features that we're fixing, uh, any bugs or anything like that that we're going to fix. Uh, for example, on Shy, I think it was Shy Legends uh, version two or three or whatever. Um, you know, I told people it'd be three to five weeks, and that was like four years ago. To this day, that is a meme. People named them their guilds three to five weeks because it ended up being seven months, and that's just because I had developers that did not make me a priority, developers that were extremely snail-like. In comparison to the de to the developer that we're using right now, we are not going to have that problem, and there's a reason why we're using a different developer. Um, someone said wings and pets? Question mark and stats. So yes, uh, we will have wings, pets, costumes, uh, mounts. I think I think weapon skins. I, I may be wrong on the weapon skins, but but I think I think we have them. And yes, they will have stats. Uh, it won't be a lot, but it will be like 10 of each stat on each cosmetic. And they will be for donation only. 
you, you will be able to buy them as a farmer because VIP points will be a physical or tradable item in game. And so you can buy those from donators and you will be able to, uh, to buy those. And uh, we might make them as a boss drop or something too. Uh, haven't, we haven't done that right now. Uh, I'm just saying we might, but that way we can say it's technically farmable. But there will be no shortage of VIP points in game. It's going to be the main currency. Every Uber is going to have them. Um, okay. And the last question I have on this list. Any information regarding features? So now we'll shift in to where this will probably be one of the longest... Uh, answers of this video because there's a lot to go over and this isn't everything but i just want to tease you guys and watch to the very end because i'm going to leave the best ones to the end so shy to verge will be a 4.5 server with episode 6 content max level 7 i'm sorry max level level 70 max ip is level 7 and we'll still have like special ips like flash and stuff but what i mean is like we're not going to have uh, dual, dual sixes or, or eights or anything. Kill rate will be times one. The only way you will be able to get uh, more than times one is if you have a battlefield rune and a special item that you gotta wait till the very end of the video for. Uh, EXP rate, like I said, somewhere between times 300 and times 500. Doesn't really make a big difference. Um, which one? Uh, we'll have level 15, 30, and 70 PvP zones. I know some people are going to be butthurt about that, but I don't care. Uh, listen, I I, I gotta I gotta be proud of the product that we're making as well. You know, I can't just bend over and, and do every little thing that every player says because well, that's just not possible. Um, 150 slot rate, of course. What kind of server does not have that? That'd be a meme in 2024. In-game FPS booster. Uh, rank reward system. We will have a tiered spender system and voting system. Uh, we'll have the teleport command system, and it's not a command actually. It's uh, you press a button under like your name on the top left hand corner of the screen, and kind of like Legends. If you ever played Legends, you have seen that, and you maybe seen some servers follow that feature that uh, Shy Legends originated. But uh, if not. You're about to find out really soon and also uh it's a little different but you click on it and you'll figure it out in two seconds um so basically uh you can learn your stats easily you press shift and you press shift and learn your stats at the same time and you learn about nine or ten stats at the same time uh free unlimited use of potions free starter sets and lapises elemental I, uh, color icon for inventory and skill bar so what that means is whatever let, let's say you have a water le weapon and you put it on your skill bar uh that skill that weapon will have a blue black uh, background to it so you'll be able like if you want to switch to water really quick and you forgot which weapon is water then you can just at a glimpse look and see that see that that's the blue weapon and that's water and you'll be able to easily uh, do that. Um, third scale bar, uh, just press hold shift plus the numpad. We have uh, extremely quick login and loading screens. A lot of the animations uh, and stuff in the background has been removed from those, and so you will be able to uh, load maps quickly free for all pvp system that's not bugged we can turn it on and off whenever we please the way it will work is we will activate a script and it will allow people to F uh, do ffa on a certain map and whenever we are done with the event we will simply deactivate the script and you will no longer be able to attack anybody and so people will just slowly leave because you can't pvp anymore after the events done um we'll have 200 costumes pets and wings um, now on to the good stuff. We will have, if you ever played Shy Legends version 1, we had a premium stone. And basically, we're going to have something similar, but it's going to be 
in the form of a wings. So uh, you will have permanent wings, which will give uh, like 10 of each stat and they're gonna be like 25 bucks. But we will have premium wings for $30 and they will expire after 30 days and they will still just be 10 of each stat, but you will get some cool features along with those as listed. Um, you will get plus one kill every five kills that uh, you get just in the raid period. So uh, it's it, basically it's 20% free kills. So let's say you and a friend have, or you have one and your friend don't, and you and your friend both to get to 100,000 kills, well, you will, you will have 120,000 kills while your friend only has 100,000. Um, you will have a flashing name in Auction House. So, like, your name will be, like, like red, pink, green, blue, whatever, and it will flash back and forth, and other players will be able to see it so you can stand out amongst the crowd. If that's your cup of tea, and that's only in safe maps, so for example, Auction House and Capital, uh, you will have a really cool special effect with it, like your, it's kind of like your Super Saiyan is the best way to describe it. You'll have like a colorful uh, pink aura around you. Short leader res uh, time, so you can leader res in four seconds instead of seven. Uh, Resing on the spot instead of 50% uh, health, you have 70% health. So if you want to use a uh, instant res rune to res yourself, you'll have 20% more health, MP, and SP. Uh, instead of 10 seconds to move on someone, you can move on them in 6 seconds. You will have a in-game ping and latency feature. So I believe you just press H. And up there next to your FPS in the top left, you will see the, uh, excuse me, uh, ping and latency. You will have a AFK status. Now this feature is really cool. So once you've, so like, let's say my name's Duyo in game on my character. After I have stood there for five minutes AFK, my name will change to AFK Duyo. And I will have a buff and there's different levels of this buff but essentially it's something like this level one activates after you've been afk for five minutes and then like i don't know like level two is like 15 minutes level three is like 30 level four is an hour and then like every hour after that is like a different level so like you know if you're afk in game people won't try to bug you and then get butt hurt because they think you're ignoring them when in reality uh you were just afk will be nice as an admin too because i get that all the time like i'll go afk in game and they'll be like oh dude you were ignoring me it's like dude that was 2 a.m i was asleep <laughs> like all the time um so this feature uh it's it's in a testing phase but we're going to launch with it and see if we have any problems but it's a uh, Windows notification. Uh, this is a first. And it will be extremely awesome. So basically, whenever you download the game, you'll have this little file. And uh, essentially what happens is, let's say we are... Oh crap, someone's calling me. Let's, let's say we are, I don't know... Um, Three months into the game okay and let's say we have 5,000 accounts created but let's say let's say we only have 2,000 people that still have the game downloaded and 3,000 deleted the game well every single time a boss spawns all 2,000 of those people are going to get a Windows notification saying like hey Kimu just spawned yeah, log in and do PvP which is gonna be really nice because like it's gonna give those guys like hey hey there's a boss like like that constant reminder of hey our server's still on like like hey you know we're still active and like that's gonna be really cool you know i'm not saying any other servers have not done that but i've not seen it it's a first and i'm really happy to be launching that here on uh, shy diverge for for the very first time um priest and oracle weapon enchantment will give you hill bonus so uh 
if you're a priest and you got your weapon and chances to 20, boom, you'll have a bonus, uh, bonus hills. Uh, you'll have the mark raid on the map. So essentially, uh, if there's lights or darks anywhere on your mini map, before they would originally, before your mini map would originally flash, before any of that, if if it's in, if it's within your mini map, there'll be a dot there, and you have to go to that dot to see if it's light or dark. But to put this into perspective, on Legends, you could run around the middle castle in Ki, and you would, uh, and you could sweep all the golems and know if there was a light or dark that easily. Um, and then a Shia in-game drop-down bar. Uh, you could, like every time you go up to a mob, there will be a little icon that you can click and a little drop-down tab will appear and it will show what the mob drops. And uh, this is one last thing. Uh, this one is still being created. So we may or may not launch with it, not for sure yet. But uh, it's going to be a system where you can um, basically turn yourself instantly into a level 15, 30, or 70. So this is the way it would work. Let's say you're let's say you're level 70. You could go and switch yourself to a level 15 instantly at, at a click of a button, and you'll be wearing your 15 PvP set. So you can have like three three sets equipped essentially, but you know only one will take effect. But if you want to go to 15 PvP, instead of switching tunes, like boom, you click a button, all your skills change to the 15 skills that you had set up uh, to the, uh, every, like it'll be set up to the gear. One moment, I'm gonna start my generator for my wife. And, and that's the way it'll work. Be super, super handy. Uh, it'll save you slots on your accounts from having to make it 15 or 30 and that's still experimental, so I'm not promising that will be here. But uh, you know, I do want to tease you guys with it. If it doesn't work, it's being in the works, and you know, you guys aren't going to have to wait months and months and months anymore for uh, like these cool features to be added. Hey, uh, Admin Duo here. I hope you guys have liked this AMA. I appreciate everyone who has uh, answered the questions uh, or asked questions. All the questions that I asked were questions from players. Uh, besides little little things here and there I threw in in between the questions. Hope you guys like this video. Hey, let's make this thing go viral. Uh, by doing, uh, All I need you to do is like and comment and let people know that this is a video that, uh, that, you, that people want to see on YouTube. And I've seen these types of videos where like I show my face and talk. Uh, I've seen these videos get thousands of views. So how awesome would it be for free if we could just work together and get this video uh, put out to thousands of people. Hey, God bless you guys. This is Admin Duo, aka Community du or Community Manager on Shia Diverge, signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you. Peace. Bye.